Hey YouTube, it's Jake Survival Channel here. I'm going to show you what I keep in the bag on my ATV. And that's Jake, just so I don't get questions about it. This is Jake. This is who the channel is named after. Sit. He's a very good boy. Yeah. Back to the bag. Um, on top here, there's some rope wrapped up. And there's some little more heavier duty rope that goes wrapped up right there. But I used it to pull my brother out of the yard. <clears throat> Got stuck in our front yard. Um, here's a pair of gloves. Just good work gloves. They're not waterproof or anything. They're just leather, leather, hand, leather uh, palm work gloves. Good to have out in the woods. Um, here's a hatchet. Uh, as you can see, it's been used and not taken care of very well, but it was a $10 hatchet, so I'm not losing anything if it does break or something like that. <laughs> Let's start over here with a, this is a cushion, seat cushion. I can use it, um, I'll put it on a stump out in the woods, put it on the ground out in the woods, use it on the four-wheeler if I needed to. Um, right here is a Stanley cook pot. That thing's been loved a lot. A lot of hot chocolate and ramen noodles in that thing. A lot of them. Um, right here's a catch-all bag. A lot of fire. Um, it's mainly a big fire kit. And then there's a carabiner in there for some reason. It's really a catch-all, but I have a lot of fire stuff in there. It's my main fire kit for on the four-wheeler. Here's a plastic bottle. Just It's an empty plastic bottle if I want to fill up with water. Uh, I had oatmeal in here before. But I can beans, rice... Um, food, stuff like that. I can just put in this or I can put water in it. We have a pond on the property, so I don't really worry about taking water out with me. I can just get some and boil it if I'm going out to stay. Here's a Pathfinder canteen set. Uh, the stove, everything's in there. Stove, lid, cup, everything. Right here on the side is a multi-tool silverware item. And on the other side is Germex. Down there's some just trail food. It's kind of hard to see. There's some um, beef jerky and hot chocolate. Right there is a ha hammock. $8 hammock. Works just as good as my Eno. I just keep the $8 one in here so that way if it does rip or something like that. Because I, I abuse that thing pretty bad. I It'll drag on the ground and everything. So If something did happen to it, uh, you know, I'm not really worried about it. Here's just a metal cup. A lot of hot chocolate and ramen noodles eaten in this thing. I don't like to boil in this one. I like to have this one where I can, you know, I pour my clean water into here or my clean food, whatever it is, and I'll just eat and use this like a bowl. <clears throat> There's a camo buff there. Here's a small underneath the, there you can see it right there. There's a haversack. It's just rolled up. I can, if I need to hop off the foiler, I want to take some stuff with me or where I'm scavenging and collecting stuff, I have something to put it in. Over here is some bug spray. Don't need it right now but in this climate, but um, you do need it when it gets summer, especially when I'm camping out around the ponds and stuff. Mosquitoes get pretty bad. There's some plastic drop cloth. 5x7 uh, space blanket tarp, reusable space blanket tarp. And underneath that is a two-man tent. Did you cam two man tent? <clears throat> right here is a wool blanket. Two wool blankets actually. One is sewed up like a sleeping bag, and the other one is just uh, not. It's not sewed up. It's just normal sleep uh, wool blanket. So I can use it for a sleeping bag. I can use it and fill it and use it as a sleeping pad. Several different things you can do with that. As you can see, it's a Yamaha Grizzly 700. Up here in this pocket that covers the wheel, I have a pair of binoculars, and then there's two glow sticks in there, which they don't—they're not always in there. That's just what I have thrown in there right now. And on front is a axe, which is the same brand as the hatchet. This was 20 bucks, I believe, but every trail that I've made, this and the hatchet has cleared it. 
that's all I've used. No chainsaws, nothing like that. I've only used the hatchet and the axe. So they are great tools. They're not no Grand Third Buck stuff, but they are great, great tools. That is what I carry with me on my ATV in the woods. Thanks for watching.